What's up guys? Welcome back. Looks like we're going to try to finish up the spark today. So we got the clutch and I found a socket. So that's great. Stay tuned. So guys, welcome back. This is the socket that you need. 36 millimeter. I just went to Menards and it's just a standard impact socket. So it's thin enough that it goes in there nicely. So it's perfect. Remember, you have those little notches. There's two of them. So you're not going to get those off until you pop that up. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull those axles, axle nuts on both sides. And then we're going to pull these guys and get this out of the way. Um, I'm hoping to not pop that loose. We should be able to pull the axle out so we can get that out of the transmission from right there, as you can see. And then if we go over on the other side, we have another axle and those two. And it goes all the way over that way. And you can see, kind of, Let's see if we can't get you a better look, just go straight into the transmission from there. So, nothing too bad. And again, hopefully we won't have to take the tie rod off. Just those two. And we should be able to move it out of the way enough. So easiest way to get those little tabs pulled up stick a chisel in there and then pry it up if you don't have a chisel try to use a screwdriver chances are you're gonna break the screwdriver but you'll you'll get it all right I'm gonna get these axle nuts off and I will be right back okay right there is your drain you have a transmission mount back there, one axle comes in there, another axle is right there, and then I'll have to find where the filler is, it might be up here, I'll find it, I'm not sure where it is yet guys, but I'm going to go ahead and get this drained, it looks like it just takes a 3 8 ratchet. Pop that drain plug loose. And then I'm going to start pulling that and getting some of these bolts undone around the outside. They look like they're 15s, so pretty standard. Okay, so that guy, see that little metal clip right there? Well, there was one by that blue line. I just stuck a little screwdriver in that little valley. And I pop the clip right out. Here's the clip. And twist it. Pops right out. Put that hose up out of the way. And just set it right there. And that's your slave cylinder. So we're going to pull this apart now. Okay, so we're underneath the car. I have the mount removed right there and right there's the axle where it goes into the transmission and up here are more bolts that hold the transmission in and then you have to remove your starter too um, there's a couple bolts up there but nothing too bad. Those are going to kind of suck to get to, but you have two bolts right here. That one. And that one right there. This one you can get all the way out. This one, it just kind of hangs out by the exhaust. But I haven't pulled the axles out yet. I gotta go pick up a chisel to get those little teeth pulled out and then you can 
pop this one out. And you can pop this one out too. All right, I'm gonna go get a chisel and then we'll be back to pull these axles out. I did drain the fluid and up there, right up there is the fill for it. So you have to come through the well well there. And then I'll get fluid specifications and everything and post that for you too. Um, I do want to point out that the brake and clutch share the same reservoir. So just be aware of that. I'll be back, guys. All right, you got to take this little side panel off. There's three clips and a 10 millimeter screw on the bottom. And then you can pull that axle right out. And you do the same thing on the other side. You don't have to pull the inner fender well, but that opening right there is where we're gonna slide that transmission. Okay, now that we got that axle shaft out, you can see another bolt right there. One up there with the starter. And then there's one on top of the starter too. And then the few that are up top will be the last few and we'll drop this transmission right out. Well, slide it over. All right, here's your clutch. There's six bolts in it. They're 10 mil. And make sure when you put your new clutch, that goes towards your transmission like that. Torque spec for those is 20 foot pounds. Don't over torque them, you'll snap them. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> we got it all put back together. We have to put some more, more, yeah, more bolts in down below. And then uh, we should be good to go. But We used a uh, little bottle jack and a 2x4 to brace the oil pan essentially. That way we could make sure and that was supported when we took the transmission out. We actually didn't have to strap up the transmission at all. It kind of hung out there nicely. We just slid it off to the side and was able to get everything in. We're going to go ahead and start putting some stuff in down here. And we'll show you some progress when we're done. Welcome back guys. So we're going to finish up that spark today. So, transmission fluid. I couldn't really find it um, because it's a GM part number. And, well, dealerships are closed on Sundays. So, and they close on Saturdays too. So, I found an alternative. I'll show that to you quick. It's the old school synchro mesh. Um, so, there's two part numbers. The 5349 and the 472 that says this the sparks take. So if you pull off this little shield, it goes right there. You can see the filler right there. So there's one on the front and there's one little on the back. The one on the bottom, it's just a little push thing. So, I grabbed two quarts of that, just in case I wasn't sure how much. To make life easy, you're also going to want one of these. Super simple. You just screw it onto the thing, onto the bottle, and you pump it, and it pumps right in. So, that bolt on the filler is just a 3 8 hex. So, well, just the 3 8 extension will shove right into that. So I'm going to grab a couple of those, break her open, and uh, start filling this up, and I'll show that to you. I'll be right back. So I was able to find the, uh, the amount that I need to put in here, and it's 3.8 pints. So you're going to be just under 2 quarts. 
Um, so as you can see, I'm getting it put in there. But yes, it's a messy job. So even with the help of that pump, it's still a pain in the butt. So I'm going to continue this and uh, get done with it. What's up, guys? Spark Clutch 2.0. Long story short, I popped a slave cylinder. So we got all this nice stuff back in here. I gotta take it all back out. So, I'm gonna fast forward through pretty much all this stuff because this is in the same video. It's just two days later because it pissed me off. So, again, going to take the transmission out and I have a new slave cylinder so we're going to throw that in we're doing the exact same thing over again um, I might take the shift linkage off this time and I'll show that to you but I pulled the battery in the battery box and now I'm going to pull the mount I've pulled the axle nuts off I pulled that little panel off. I have the transmission draining right now. Actually, I think it just finished. Um, so I'm gonna pop both axles off, a lower mount, the starter, and I think that's about it. And then I'm gonna move this thing over a little bit and then I'll show that to you. Um, all that, All those steps should have been in the first video, so. Um, this is part two. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So, there's your slave cylinder. This came off of... Off mine. So, it's your throw up bearing right there. So, see those little shiny metal things? Little holes? That's where bolts are. There's another one up there they are three sixteenths Allen might be metric I don't know that one fit so now I got to take that out of there and I'll show you how to get it out of there too um, Okay, so, much like the top, see that little guy right there? Maybe not. If it would focus. Okay, that little guy right there. And try not to lose it like I just did. Luckily, I have a spare. But, a little clip just popped out. Now we can pop that metal line out, and the slave cylinder slash throw bearing will pop right off. But I need two hands to do that, so I'm going to go take care of that. Okay, so this is that little metal thing pulled out. This sticks out of the transmission. This is in the transmission. You just pinch it, and you can pull this out a little bit. Just enough to get it off the slave cylinder. So... That's what, you, that's what you gotta take out, okay? Do not lose that little rubber end. That guy, do not lose it. You need that, otherwise you will leak, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put the new one in and get this transmission back in. Okay guys, welcome back. So, I am having a hell of a time with this slave cylinder. So I have replaced it, I got a new one on there. I bled it. But for some reason, I keep popping the seal on it. I've I've uh, popped two seals. So I'm going to pull this clutch back off and uh, try to get to the bottom of it. Um, remember when you put these clutch plate bolts in, uh, the pressure plate, tighten them in a star pattern. There's six of them, so tighten them little by little. And uh, you'll see the fingers kind of move in towards the um, flex 
towards the flywheel, I should say. And then tighten them up to 21 foot pounds. Um, again, make sure and do it in a star pattern. But I'm going to go ahead and pull those three bolts back out and get my second new throw out bearing slay cylinder um, put on there and uh, re bleed it and see what happens. I'll be back, guys. So, welcome back, guys. Um, we did finish up that spark. I was victorious finally. Um, remember that little O-ring that I showed you that goes on the end of that metal line? Well, my dumbass didn't account for one of them. And there was one of those stuck in the uh, in the in the line. And it was pinching it off, and it was blocking the passage, and you would be able to push the clutch for a couple times, and then it would get rock rock solid and wouldn't release the uh release the pressure so you just kept building it up building it up and then it would blow the seal in the slave cylinder so learn from my mistake don't do that always check for those seals so lesson learned i popped one popped two third one didn't have to worry about it so i did find it it was in there but thanks for watching like comment subscribe ask questions deuces guys